Good morning, everyone. This is Rahul Sharma, Vedic practitioner from Chicago. Today, I will be releasing my video number 76, Understanding the Lord Vishnu, Vishnu Bhagwan. And uh, this is taken from the book written by my Gurudev Pandit Shri Ram Sharma Acharya, Mata Bhakti Devi Sharma, Bharti Sanskriti Kyadhar Tattva. And this is on section 3.99. Those who want to read it in Hindi, they can directly read it. So let's understand what is the significance of Lord Vishnu when we talk about worshipping Lord Vishnu and how does it can benefit us. Among all the gods worshipped in Vedic culture or Hinduism, three of below are the primary gods. We call it Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, or we call them three deva. Brahma is always signifies the energy or power of creation who created this universe. Then comes the Vishnu, who has the energy or the power to maintain the world. That means a provider to all the species with the essentials to live. That is oxygen, air, water, food, and whatever is required for any species. And then lastly, the Lord Shiva or Mahesh comes, who is the energy of the transformation. Anything which is recycled, cycle of life and death, is part of the uh, portfolio of Lord uh, Shiva. And this is all the energy. So God is always the one. This video will explain today only about the depiction of the Lord Vishnu in his current uh, picture, how it is been done, what does it really mean, and when we do daily worship, what we should really uh, imagine ourselves. So you see the per this image, Lord Vishnu is resting or reclining on the Sheshna, which is known as serpent with thousand heads, and it shows his contentment that he is very relaxed. You see, you can see this in the picture. After providing all his responsibility of food, clothes, shelter, water, air to all the species, so he has taken care of that, he's relaxing. In human life, a father or husband or even a working mom today is playing this role today of Vishnu. We must be satisfied, calm, and composed in fulfilling our responsibility towards our family. We should not have the arrogance or bad attitude towards our children or society that I am the one who is providing all the food and shelter. This is our duty, like, like God, Vishnu. And uh, now let's understand every single different part of this one. The Sheer Shagar, Sheer is nothing but the milk. And Sheer Shagar is nothing but the ocean of the milk on which Lord Vishnu is sitting on the Sheshna. So I'm going to explain to you all of them. But let's understand Sheer Shagar here, as per Gurudev's book, is refers to the, the white material in our brain. And if you really look into the research and science, there 40% is the gray matter and 60% is the white matter. This is the main area which uh, human being can really enlighten and become like God himself. It has all the powers, all the talent, all the siddhis in this uh, white area. So when we refer Shri Shagar, that means sleeping in this particular uh, portion of the brain, we have all the talent what we need to be successful in the life. Our righteous thoughts and wisdom and the emotions are those Vishnu's attribute in our brain right now they are in sleeping mode which we need to awaken to get all the benefit what we can imagine uh, from the God. And then lying on the thousand hooded serpent it signifies the Brahma Rand. Those who know Yogi Kriya they are various chakras in our body and Brahma Rath is in our body, which has thousand petals of lotus flower on the top of our brain. If you drill some somewhere from here and this place here where they meet, we call it the Brahma Rath or uh, Sahastra Kamal. Sahastra is nothing but thousands, thousand petals of uh, lotus. Different uh, artists have depicted in different ways. But you understand when we talk about thousand hooded serpent, is nothing outside like a like a snack, but it is a our body and our uh, chakras within our body. Now let's talk about the goddess Lakshmi in the picture showing, massaging the feet of Vishnu. Okay, but it truly means is we must follow the divine consciousness of Vishnu and awaken our hidden talent. That picture doesn't mean that our spouse or female will serve its husband and male and uh, massage their, their feet. It has been always taken as a misunderstood uh, significance analogy what does it say is like vishnu's capability and properties or animation of the uh, divinity 
and consciousness we are going to be serving that and following that that was really means then you see the four arms of vishnu in in the picture which has uh, all the different uh, items i'm going to talk one at a time so let's talk about the conch conch means shank when you really blow it it gives you a very uh, good sound which signifies the bold announcement of divinity within you and the dharma which you will do what it takes to fulfill your duty so never be shy of uh, talking about your duty about your your dharma i'm not talking about religion here dharma is your duty as a as a father as a child as a brother as a employee whatever your duties are you're going to fulfill that without any shyness so that's what the uh, conch or shank talks about that then you see the chakra we always talk about vishnu's chakra which, which can kills the uh, asur or the rakshas or the demon is always talk about like chakra is always rotating just like sun and earth and they all are rotating we should always be active alert and in our dynamic movement creativity of mind and body bottom line is we should never be lazy okay we should be against any laziness and we should be like vishnu chakra if we really want to get the blessing of lord vishnu then let's talk about the third part in in his hand we we call it gada gada is mess represent the commitment to support the justice and the discipline okay. so with that you can always uh, support the justice and discipline the society but will start from within you within your family and then it goes to the society and you also see the lotus flower that remind us of the love the beauty the tenderness and the bliss it also remind us to live in this world like a lotus which even though grows in mud but keeps it peaches clean and floated above the mud that means despite the tons of destruction available in this life in the universe like clubs dance bar and so many such destruction uh, vapor uh, house we must be alert to follow the righteous path and the healthy habits only because our body is a temple where all the god goddesses has the uh, place to live then overall when somebody say hey i just worship lord vishnu that's great whether you worship vishnu or brahma or gayatri or anybody else everything lead to the same thing that you are committing yourself for the positive attributes of vishnu which is awakening the divinity within within yourself that's what it really all means okay you can worship anyone so that's the action item first understand the true meaning of all the gods various pictures various idols their vehicles their ammunition and everything has a significance everything has an analogy behind it and gurudev has written it all in one single book wang maj which i have referred here then you make discipline to perform daily worship of any preferred god okay god is one anyway so you can select your preferred god based on your values from your family but if you should remind yourself of every analogy explained in the book and videos of gurudev about every single god and goddesses that's what it really means so your subconscious mind will become trained and when your subconscious mind will become trained by understanding all the significance analogy in summary we must strive to live a life of purity simplicity truth and honesty you must always speak softly respectfully with humility to everyone be it your spouse children co-workers neighbors and you must be active alert and dynamic in your life and never be lazy like the vishnu chakra and be bold to spread the good word about god dharma to everyone with your commitment of time and uh, money like uh, shankhnath or blowing the conch and then support the justice and discipline uh, within yourself for your family and for the society by uh, the gada or the mass and then live a life like lotus flower always be clean uh, spotless and uh, be away from all the destruction which are being coming to you with this thank you have your children that's all as a departing uh, message you know be a vedic practitioner one of the proven path for success and happiness and getting the heaven learn adopt and practice the secrets of uh, personal success written in 3400 plus books by gurudev pandit shri ram sharma acharya stay successful and happy and help others making this world a heaven and then don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch my next video 
and then remember my earlier explanation of the nerve graha pujan the nine planetary position and how you can do the fit gap analysis the true fact is if you want to get all the blessings from all the nerve graha the nine planets which rotate in 12 rashis that means you promote puja and gayatri yagna to nine new families and advise them to invite at least 12 new families every single time that will give you most of the blessing for every Gayatri month chanted by those groups, those family for the rest of the life. You are going to get a portion of that punya. This, thank you everyone. Talk to you next Saturday.